Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing a package from Elizabeth Rose 14. I bought a custom from her, and then she also included some other little goodies that I don't know about in this box. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Alright, right on top I can see a couple little goodies here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up first this little guy. Oh, he's a little painted unicorn, but he is a little zombie unicorn. I'll try to provide a less cluttered backdrop here so you can get a little bit better look at him. One side he's this zombie colored, or maybe he's more like a Frankenstein colored, but he's a Frankenstein zombie green with stitching. And then on his other side he is a little skeleton horse. That is super duper cool. Thank you so much Elizabeth, this is so so cute. Next up in here, I can't help but notice, there looks like a little Funko Pop of Princess Celestia. Oh, isn't she just adorable? Oh my goodness, look at that mane. She has got so much mane going on. She is super duper cute. Thank you so much for her. She is adorable. Looks like there's a couple more little goodies kind of sitting down here. Here's a little dragon, a little purple and gold dragon. I believe these are little safari dragons. They're like little little rubber dragons. They're really cute. He's even got a little bit of glitter in him, it looks like. Can you see the glitters? Can you see those glittery glitters? Also in here is a little Tsum Tsum. It's a little stitch Tsum Tsum. How cute! He's a really pretty teal color, and he has like little paint splotches on him. That is super adorable. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for including these little goodies. They're so cute. We'll get all this packing material out of the way. Here is the horse I bought in a pony pouch. But apparently this is not his actually correct pony pouch. So I'm going to be shipping this one back to her, and then she's going to be shipping me the correct one for this guy. But regardless, this is a really pretty pony pouch. If the one that's meant for him is half as pretty as this, I'll be super excited. This one is really cool, all glittery and galaxy-like. Alright, now that the box is out of the way, we should be able to unwrap him better here. Alright, I see his, his head kind of poking out. Oh, I can definitely see his head. If you don't already know from the thumbnail what kind of horse this is, you probably have a good idea just by that. Let's unwrap him. Oh my goodness. Here he is. And as you can maybe tell, he was originally a Foundation Stallion. Which if you don't know from my channel already, the Foundation Stallion is one of my absolute favorite molds. Because one of my favorite briars that I played with when I was a toddler was a foundation stallion. So I really, really love this mold. And this zombie custom is a foundation stallion custom. Although he does have quite a bit of customization to him. Alright, change the camera angle up a little bit here so maybe we can compare them a little better. Just to show the extent of this guy's customization. We'll also get a closer look at him as well. First off, we can see that his head has been repositioned. It's been lowered and turned more to the side. From this angle, you can especially see that it's been lowered quite a bit. His legs have also been repositioned. The one foreleg here is kind of turning out more. And then the other foreleg is actually kind of bent back. So it kind of looks like he's doing more of a straining kind of walk, I guess you could say. And this back leg has also been adjusted a bit to be kind of going out just a tiny bit more that way. And I'm just pointing this out because I actually don't have a Foundation Stallion custom yet that's been like drastically customized at all. So I think it's fun to see what's been done to him to make him different. And as you can probably already tell, there's been quite a bit of sculpting and re-sculpting and stuff going on here as well. He now has an exposed spine and also... You can see like his hip bones and stuff. So quite a lot of work has been done to him. He's skinnier in appearance. Those bones are just like really sticking out. 
His tail looks like it's had some work done to it because now it's swishing to the side instead of being connected to the back leg here. His mane also looks like it's had some sculpting done to it. He's got a little bit more of a fuller mane on this side. And of course, we can't forget that really cool open bone jaw thing going on there. Alright, now that I've compared him to what a normal foundation stallion mold looks like, let's actually get some close-up detail of this awesome custom. Here he is in all his zombie glory. Now I believe this guy is actually my very first like full-on zombie custom too. I have thought about doing a zombie custom in the past, but I have never actually went through with making one yet. I had to get this guy for my Foundation Stallion Conga and also for my Halloween horses because I do collect Halloween horses as well. I have pretty much the complete set of Halloween horses, so he's going to be a fun addition to those. Let's take a look at his spooky face. Again, you can see that he's been altered so that he's got the jaw open there and it goes back really far. It reminds me of a lot of those really cool and creepy horse art with the horse's mouths that go all the way up like that. What I really like about this too is the detail of the teeth. He actually has little teeth sculpted and painted on. He has teeth on the front and on the sides. And it is done up like a realistic horse skull because horses do not have teeth in this area right here. They have their like grazing chewing teeth back here and then the teeth to grab up front. And I like that these are really kind of subtly sculpted and painted in. It's not over exaggerated at all and I think that's kind of a neat touch. The skull also has the little like nasal bone poking out there. Oh my gosh, and now I just noticed as well, he even has a hole in his jaw on the bottom of it. And that's really crazy and cool. He's got some really neat details packed into him. So on this side of his face, as you can see, he does not have an eye at all. He just has a eye socket right there. But on his other side, he does have a little zombie eye. It's like a kind of like clouded over white eye. But it also has a little bit of color in it and it has a nice glossy finish to it. Definitely a very spooky looking zombie eye. On his body, he's got some neat details on him as well. He's got like what kind of looks like pustule kind of stuff sort of going on here because it's got a kind of raised texture and it's kind of greenish and he's got what looks like little holes and cuts in his skin he's a pretty creepy dude he's got more of those details on this side and some of it is even like kind of glossed a little bit to like give it more of that kind of gross slimy look now one of my favorite parts I think about this guy is the fact that he actually has holes in him so that you can see through him. You can really see that he's hollow and that he's got holes through him. I don't know, I just think that's super cool. He's got holes between his ribs. He's got like a little bit of flesh kind of on top of his ribs there. Very cool and creepy. And he has the same thing on the other side. He has even like a really big hole right there more of that flesh kind of over his ribs. These are like pretty finely done too. The detail and workmanship for like these holes is pretty impressive I think. He's got some more flesh along his back and then we come up to his exposed spine here which again is done really well. And you can see like the individual vertebrae but again it's not over exaggerated. Which, well, I do like when things are over-exaggerated sometimes, too. This is really neat that it is done so subtly, it's so effectively. Then here's uh, these prominent hip bones I mentioned before. But you can, like, really see the impression of the bone there. In this kind of, like, V-shape. 
And that is also the same on the other side. We've got that prominent bone sticking out. So you can tell this guy's been um, decaying for a little while. He is not a not a fresh zombie. He is, he's an older zombie. And this is a fun little gross detail as well. He's got like a patch of skin that's like cut there, patch of flesh, skin, whatever, cut on the side there, kind of hanging off. And it's even like glossed a little. That is crazy. And then there's his, uh, his tail again, which is just a nice like tan color. Not really too affected by the zombie, zombie grossness. And then I think the pro probably the grossest detail I haven't really shown yet is on the bottom here. I put a squeamish warning at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna say it again here. This part is pretty gross in my opinion. But on the bottom of his belly, he actually has his like intestines and stuff hanging out in there. And the flesh just sticking up everywhere. It's really gross. <laughs> It's a crazy gross detail, but I think it's kind of cool too that this was kind of done on the bottom of him. So he's not completely like gross hanging out intestines everywhere. If you just have him sitting on your shelf like this or even at a show. But if you really wanted to show that gross extra zombie detail, then you have it there. But again, just pretty impressive sculpting and paint work on this guy. I'm really, really impressed and happy with him. He is pretty gross and creepy. When it comes to like gore and stuff, I'm kind of like in between on like some stuff really grosses me out and then some stuff doesn't bother me at all. This guy doesn't really bother me at all. I think he's just very cool and gross and creepy in just the right way. He's not kind of overly gross, but just gross and creepy enough. I forgot to mention this neat detail, which is that his hooves and legs here. It looks like they're originally supposed to be like white markings, but they're kind of dirtied up because, you know, this guy's probably been hanging out in the mud and stuff. He's not, he's not going to be a pristine, clean show pony. Thank you so much Elizabeth for mentioning this guy to me and letting me purchase him because he is really awesome. I'm really happy with him. I also love the extra little goodies you sent and these guys are a fun little contrast to him. Like Princess Celestia next to him is a really really strange combination. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you like zombie horses or if you're not really that into them. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!